Hello, so today we're here with Anna, and we're going to talk about detoxing. Now, detoxing is tricky. You can kind of either go through a rigorous detox and hope you make it to the end, or you can just kind of fake it and have your skin look glowing and pure like you've been through a detox. So if we're gonna talk about detox with Aurelia, we would 100% start with the Miracle Cleanser, and it is miraculous because it not only removes waterproof mascara, all of your makeup, even if you use a heavy foundation, it removes daily grime and impurities, and it really deeply cleanses the skin so you don't even need a toner afterward. Also in conjunction with the cleanser, you get an antibacterial bamboo muslin, and basically when you use it to rinse off the cleanser, it dislodges old skin cells and exposes younger ones. And the younger skin cells are capable of absorbing a lot more nutrients out of the product. So anything you put on to your skin after the cleanser absorbs better and it's more effective. Following the cleanser, we would apply the Cell Revitalizing Rose Mask. It's actually hydrating, detoxifying, and soothing, which means that you can use it before or after a party. You need about a dime size, you know, a kind of a 10P that would cover your whole face. Really pat it in, you'll instantly feel how soothing and smooth it is on your face. After the mask sits on your skin for five or 10 minutes, you can just gently remove it with a warm muslin that comes with your cleanser. Our last step is to use the Illuminate and Smooth Puff Reduction Eye Cream. You only need a couple of little drops Within the cream, you'll find arnica and other ingredients that are used in homeopathy. And what they do is they really brighten, depuff, and detoxify your eye area so that after a few weeks' use, you'll find your eye area is very luminous. So for Anna's skin, we're gonna use Becca's brand new Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. For me, the trick with this foundation and all foundations for that matter is that you really want to concentrate the cream or liquid or stick or whatever it is right through the center one-third of your face. You don't need a lot on the periphery of your face. You really just want to get a nice coverage through the middle. So I'm sort of dabbing this one on through the center where I want all the coverage. And then away from the center, I'll start to use wiping motions so that I'm getting less coverage out of the foundation and it blends more into Anna's skin. If you put any kind of foundation on and you feel like you've got too much on, a really quick and easy way to make it flawless is to just take your hands and pat the foundation into the pores. Every time I work, I want my skin looking like skin and nothing else, no matter how much makeup is on it. That's what makes it chic and flawless and understated, the fact that it doesn't look like anything at all, but it still looks perfect. So if you think about makeup that complements a detox look, you want it to be pure and understated. If you think about designers like Hermes, Delma, Stella McCartney, the women in those collections are kind of nude and understated, quite pure looking, but still very chic. So using Becca's Ultimate Mascara, along with a very sharp Paris Berlin lash comb, one way to achieve definition around your eye is to do what I call a root blast which is basically getting mascara onto the lash comb and just kind of wiggling it in at the root of the lashes without pulling it out to the tips. Then any mascara that gets on the tips, you can just whisk away so you don't really see it. That's what makes it chic and kind of flawless and understated. 